Hello everyone, welcome back to another update on Sherry Arbor's story. I know it's been a while since I've made one of these and I was actually going to make one of these basically right after I revealed Lila's concept. But for the past, let's say, I think it was like, well we'll just say week, under a week, I've been extremely sick so I legitimately just could not add to Sherry Arbor's story. I couldn't edit videos, I couldn't even stream. I had to break my stream schedule just to be able to get better. But now that I'm feeling better and starting to get back into editing the story and starting to do my normal stuff again before my holiday, which I must mention as well, uh, I thought I'd actually give an update on Sherry Arbor's story, tell you a bit of the progress, what's going on, what's going to happen between now and my holiday, what's going to happen during the holiday, and what's going to happen after the holiday. So. Obviously, I already mentioned just there, on the screen you're probably seeing her now, the uh, latest concept was Lila Corcoran, and yeah, that's really it actually, there's nothing else to say that, except the fact that I revealed her as of uh, recording this 12 days ago, which feels weird to think about, but yeah, it's been 12 days since I've revealed her last. And I will say this, like now, there probably won't be another concept until I come back from holiday. Because uh, right now I'm saving my money. I'm making sure I have money to go on holiday with. And plus me and my friend were also talk about going to Comic-Con <laughs> after the holiday as well. So it's just like we got that and then afterwards Comic-Con. Which is going to be in Ireland by the way. So this isn't going to be me like literally being a f rich fancy c traveling from place to place. This is just like in Ireland the uh, Comic-Con so it should be alright. But yeah sorry apologies for the swearing. I know I said I tried to like to myself anyway I try to cut most of that out but sometimes I just naturally swear it just is how it is but anyway back to the uh, Lila concept at hand there won't be another concept but if I do do another concept it'll be after the holiday and hopefully it'll be a male character this time that I do because I've done three female characters I think it's time we start like <laughs> showing some male characters of the series and then maybe even like Joe Snipe Flyer like, you know, he's a male. Maybe we could, like, actually finally get a proper concept of what the hero could look like. But I am thinking of a very particular idea for him rather than showing him in his hero attire. Because, like, I just... My designs for Joe's Night Flower has changed so much over time that I think I still need a bit more time before I can, like, hammer down, okay, this is what he is and this is what he does. I do know, though, like, he does very specific things. So we're going to have to make sure, like, if I do design him, that, like, he could still do that whilst in his, like, uh, hero design or hero suit, we'll just say. But anyway, uh, I will also mention here that, like, as I said, I've been sick. Uh, everything was basically just stopped. Like, there was a day where I basically just, like, suffered in bed for nine hours straight. So <laughs> there's, like, no progress. I was literally going to move on to volume 13 like under a week ago but now I'm so far behind because of being sick but honestly it was worth taking that break like my sides like my whole body decided to basically shut down if you need to know like my brain had a headache my eyes were kind of a bit warm and like achy because of me staring at the screen all the time my throat was in bits uh I, I still kind of have some of that cough now, so I might just have to keep taking cough medicine for it. But it's not as bad as it was now, it feels normal. My breathing was a bit weird, just probably because of the heat, honestly. Like, the heat itself doesn't help. That also added to the factor and made me sweat a lot and feel warmer than I should be. My sides were aching like hell that, like, I couldn't even really get much sleep. I couldn't really get much sleep in general. And I lost my appetite basically completely. So, yeah, ju just... Just so you know, when I said I was sick, like, I mean sick. This isn't just me getting, like, a bit of the sniffles or even COVID. This is me, like, actually just suffering to death. But yeah, again, I should be good now. I cross my fingers and tap my head. Tap wood, should I say. Because I don't want to go on holiday and then there be something else wrong, you know. I want to actually see if I can enjoy, like, 10 days of my life away from Ireland. But yeah, now that I think about it, let me just mention that real quick. I did mention what I do before, after, or before, during, and after the uh, holiday, and honestly, before, I think I'm just gonna just keep working as I normally am, or at least try to get some semblance of normality back by working as much as I can on my bits. Uh, YouTube and streaming all that is sorted, 
for my holiday. But I just need to make sure like all the Sherry Arbor stuff is like uploaded to um my insert uh, cloud here so I can like actually work on it whilst abroad. But I also want to like say to myself as well though, like if I really want to work on it or not, I don't know. I guess it's, it's just like if there's any downtime or any moment, I'm like, oh yeah, bro, um, I want to show you this part of the story and do this, this and this. Because I know like if I was on track by now, I probably could have finished re-editing the whole series by now before I went on holiday. And like whilst I'm on holiday, I could just do like little edits of little bits. But that's the problem though. Because sometimes when I do a little edit in the series, it ripples out and just completely changes how, like, the rest of volumes are viewed, you know? Like, even now, like, I did a little change, like, two volumes ago, and it's still kind of showing now. It's only starting to kind of taper out now, but, like, it's definitely going to show its head again in the last volume. And even though I'm editing the second last volume, so, ep er, episode, uh, volume 13 of uh, 14... I've been kind of thinking of doing a volume 15, but I also have been thinking that maybe volume 15 should just be the start of series 2. And the way I tie in what I have the idea for for volume 15 for uh, series 1, would basically just to introduce series 2, just be like, yeah, this happened and this happened and that's why we're doing this, you know? If you want to view these volumes as anything, volumes 1 to 14 is like season 1. Volumes 15 onwards will be like season 2 and honestly like there's still a lot of plans for me to start doing different bits in the future I just gotta like I just need the main Pointers to follow for now like I did with 1 to 14 and I hopefully will be able to continue writing Like a story. I can't guarantee that I'm writing the world's best story here But I can guarantee that I am writing a story and a story that I want to write, you know? That's just how it is. But I will admit, I have been a bit iffy about this current volume because, like, I won't mention why or what it is, but the theme of it, I feel like, is kind of... It's kind of shoehorned in, but I kind of hinted at it happening, though, at the same time. But I, the nerd part of me is legit so lazy because it's like, oh, bro, if I remove this whole thing, though, then I'm going to have to rewrite all of, like, 1 to 12 again, and it's a mess. Let's just say that I've seen some of the titles of the chapters and I'm like, okay, maybe there's a chance we can make this work a lot better than I think it is, you know? Or maybe I just forgot how well it ties in and I'm about to find out in the next few days. But anyway, sorry, I went with, like, ranting there and off topic. I, I have, I'm not even following my, like, uh, bullet point list anymore. So let's get back to it. So, because there's not going to be a concept there, is there going to be any, um original soundtrack piece and yes we'll get back to the whole holiday thing what i'll do before after and during but will there new be a new ost piece not i don't think as of right now unless i have an idea and i want to complete it before i go on holiday i don't think i'll have another one but i'm not gonna lie there was this like song i listened to recently that's like inspired from the anime it's listening to and it sounds so similar to it it's just encouraged me now it's just like bro you know, if these people can do it and make it sound good, I can try, you know? Like, I I'm not saying I'm writing masterpieces, like, of a soundtrack here, but, like, what I wrote there is so much better than, like, some of the things I wrote in college. Not saying it's better than It's Time to Think. It's Time to Think will always be, like, my first and best song, in my opinion. Like, out of every other song piece I've done. But until I beat that, like, I just need to basically just aim to start climbing that ladder again and see if I can get there. And plus, these are, like, soundtrack pieces. These are not, like, actual songs, you know? That's the difference. But anyway, so, let's bring the topic back to the holiday. So, on the 21st, I will be heading to America and I will be uh, leaving the Irish soil for 10 days. So, 21st or 31st. So... Before then, I will be working as m as much as I can, basically. Well, not even as much as I can, just at my normal pace. As long as the weather, like, start it decides to actually calm down for a bit. Because I, I think it's, like, around 20 degrees right now, and I'm already sweating. And the window's open, and it's still warm. But I will say that during the holiday, it'd be lovely to get some pieces and bits done for the story. Like, it, I don't even have to do main story pieces either. Because, like, there's kind of this, like, side thing, like, notes kind of, like, stuff that I always have. 
where I'm like, you know, I could just write bits in the notes and maybe rearrange a few of the notes around. Because something, like, at first the notes were really organized, but then they started to become a bit disorganized because there's so much, like, stuff that I've added to the notes. Like, hold on, I need to open it right now. So, like, even just the one I'm looking at right now is just, like, the character profile. It's 87 pages with 10,000 words, and it has... Oh, wow, yeah, I, I can't even count how many names that is. That, that's just a lot of names. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not even joking. And, like, some of these characters don't even really reappear that often as well. But I've still written them down to try and give them thing. And that's another thing, actually, I could do as well whilst I'm on holiday, is give the character profiles a bit more flesh. Because, like, right now it's just bullet points, but if I could try and do more for them, I probably could. Like, even just giving each of them their own, like, kind of paragraph and their own kind of story of what I remember that character being like in the story, you know? It could be really helpful. Uh, and then, obviously, after the uh, holiday, I'm probably going to take a day break, because, like, there's no way... I'm going to be up for anything after today. And even when I get to America as well, I'm probably going to be jet lagged. I guarantee jet lag will be one of the things that will affect me. So, yeah, there is that. Um, I will also mention that, like, after the holiday and maybe even, like, after, like, Comic-Con, I think that's when, like, I know I said I'd get a job and stuff, but now, like... After hearing more and more about how horrible, like, it is to just work in retail and for minimum wage, the more it's, like, encouraged me to just be, like, just focus on my own stuff, you know? Like, I mean, if I can still, like, live comfortably the way I am now and still, like, write this story, then I should really just take advantage of that and just use it, you know? So, thank you so much for listening to this update. This will be the last one in a while. Obviously, if you're also listening to this and you've uh, been watching my streams, yes, this does also mean that I basically won't be streaming at all from the 21st to the uh, 31st. I don't even think I'll be streaming on the 20th, if I'm being honest, because the 20th is the day before, and like I think uh, me and my mate are going to be like preparing for to uh, get to the airport like for the next day. Um, I will mention though that if I can still log into Twitch whilst in America, I probably will uh, maybe do like just one odd stream. Just be like, yo, I'm checking in from America. How is everyone doing? You know, that kind of stuff. But I don't know. That that just depends. I, I, I mean, like, I will admit, like, it'd be kind of cool to do an episode of the Night Flare podcast whilst I'm there. But anyway, sorry. I'm, I'm actually starting to talk about channel stuff now, not about Sherry Arbor's story. So yeah. Uh, as much as it pains me to say this, like, this will be probably the last Sherry Arbor's related update in a while. If you want to listen to anything else I have to say about Sherry Arbor's story, make sure to tune in to my Twitch streams and ask me live. Because honestly, like, there's not many people there. So if you want to just, like, pop in, ask a quick question, I'll probably be, I'll probably be there around, I'd say, I think it's like, uh, half 12 GMT basically nearly to like I'd say around four o'clock and sometime I'd say after half four to like maybe even nearly like eight o'clock those are kind of like my times when I stream so yeah again thank you so much for listening to this update on Sherry Arbor's story the light novel series that I'm working on make sure to like this video if you liked it comment if you want subscribe if you want and hit the bell if you do so desire because this is the channel where all of these updates will be going from now on, on Joseph Nightflyer's clips. And yeah, thank you so much for listening.